hello friends in this video i am going to show you how we can make a layout and stick diagram of a zor gate using pass transistor pass transistor logic so this is a schematic of the pass transistor logic now this realizes a function of the zor gate here only two transistors are present and both the transistor of nmos i mark the source in the drain region of the transistors now i have to identify the euler's path so there are only two paths that is one is b bar b and the other one is b bar, b b bar i am choosing the euler's path to make my stick diagram is b bar and b first of all i'll make a transistor stack of transistors that is the nmos the next step i'll make the polysilicon so this transistor correspond to b bar and this transistor correspond to b now the drain region is this one and this one the source region is this one we can see the both the drain regions are connected and they are joined to the output of the schematic so we take this and connect to the output and at this terminal we apply this a source a and at this terminal we apply a bar this completes the stick diagram now from the stick diagram we will make the layout before making the layout we have to follow some color conventions for that i have provided a, a link of a video in the description now for the layout after making the euler's path we make the layout of the circuit so first we mark the vdt and the ground lines in the layout next we make a pmos stack of transistors now in this we have two transistors so we will take the polysilicon layers to mark the gates of the transistor so one transistor is b bar and one is b the next step would be taking a now this is the drain region of the of these two transistors which is connected now we have a output line from here so now we want a bar terminal to be connected here in the a terminal to be connected here and the b terminal to be connected here and the b bar terminal to be connected here for that we need to draw the layout of two inverters so drawing the layout of inverter is very easy first of all we want to make one n diffusion layer and then one p diffusion layer this is my n diffusion layer and with the brown color i will make my p diffusion layer then for the polysilicon i use the red color and apply my input here and this will generate the output inverter output so if i apply a b here i'll get a b bar here now we have to remember one thing that the pins are of made up of metal so first of all we have to convert the metal into a polysilicon via with the help of a wire which converts one layer from the layer and so we got here b bar and again we have to convert into polysilicon and then connect it with the b bar now similarly i have made the inverter layout for the generating the a bar terminal so this is a and the a bar is generated here and it is connected here now the next step would be connect this is the b terminal so the next step would be can uh, would be that we connect this b terminal to this polysilicon gate and this a terminal to the source of this transistor so now after connecting this b terminal with the polysilicon and the a a pin with this source 
द लास्ट स्टेप वुड बी कनेक्टिंग द सोर्स ऑफ द पीमॉस विद द वी डी एंड द सोर्स ऑफ द एनमॉस विद द ग्राउंड सिमिलरली फॉर बोथ द ले आउट्स वी हैव टू मेक श्योर वन ऑफ वन थिंग दैट दीज टू मेटल लेयर्स should be different we i use here the metal to, second metal two layer so that the overlap does not cause drc errors so there are some rules and uh, to be followed while taking the length of this metal one and metal two layers and the polysilicon layers which can be seen from the video provided in the description below so this completes the layout so this is a rough sketch drawn for this video if we take uh, proper care of the lengths of the metal layers and the polysilicon the layout may look like this so this is the zor gate ptl layout thank you for watching my video